Hello friends, Doc Green here. Welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our videos. Hit that bell icon for new notifications. I'm not a financial advisor, nor am I telling you to buy, sell, or hold your stock. I'm going to give you research data, and then you decide for yourself what's your best option. So I know it's been a while, and we're going to switch our format up just for a couple of videos. We're going to look at the ripple effect of the war between Russia and Ukraine on various types of stocks. So we're focusing namely uh, wheat, grain, and fertilizer stocks. We've already seen the impact of the war upon energy stocks, but now we face this grim reality of food shortages globally because the continued fighting between two of the world's largest wheat exporters. So we're splitting our discussion into three, and today we're going to focus on wheat stocks. Um, Russia and Ukraine took together, they account for roughly a third of the world's wheat production and more than a quarter of the global trade of wheat. The conflict has caused major ports in Ukraine uh, to be closed and also it's severed logistics and transport links within the country. Trade, on the other hand, with Russia has been stifled by the complexity of navigating various sanctions and the soaring uh, insurance and freight costs. The Ukrainian government predicts that there should be about 25% less land planted this spring. And that's a really optimistic forecast because the reality is these farmers are being impeded by field mines, a lack of fuel and fertilizers, and I mean, quite honestly, just the ongoing war. So wheat that has been sown in the months prior to the war, a great chunk of that area is still being occupied by troops. And it's estimated that their harvest this year could be cut in half threatening the position, their position as a major exporter of wheat and also further limiting already tight global supplies. Analysts have actually suggested that three quarters of Ukraine's harvest from last year has already been shipped, but with um, ports being closed, the remaining quarter is likely to remain within the country, maybe for domestic, um, domestic use or even still trying to navigate these um, shipping logistical problems. Um, so really the export of, of Ukraine's spring harvest is, is questionable. The global markets have responded though, and uh, now there's this sudden shift of demand to other suppliers such as Brazil and Argentina. And, um, in addition to that, there's now a marked increase in export of price quotes. So while Ukraine quotes are no longer available in the country as they scramble to balance their domestic demands and also begin to begin shipping via rail versus sea, Russia wheat quotes and exports have resumed. Um, Brazil and Argentina, as I've explained before, as I've indicated before, they've begun to increase their exports and this has resulted in some leveling off of the prices of wheat. So now to the meat of the matter, here are some wheat stocks that are on my radar and I'm going to list them in no particular order. The first is Anderson's, it's tickers A-N-D-E. They engage in wheat logistics, marketing, and nutrient activities. The second is Post Holdings Incorporated, their ticker is POSD, and they operate as a consumer packaged goods holding company in the US and internationally. They operate within five different segments, post-consumer brands, Weetabix, food service, refrigerated retail, and bellring brands. The third is General Mills Incorporated, GIS. Uh, GIS manufactures and markets branded consumer goods worldwide, and the company operates in five uh, segments, North America retail, convenience stores and food service, Europe and Australia, Asia and Latin America, and lastly, pet. Our fourth stock that we're going to look at is MGP Ingredients Incorporated, or MGPI, and together with its subsidiaries, they produce and supply distilled uh, spirits, branded spirits and food ingredients. The fifth uh, stock that we're looking at is Adiquagro SA, the ticker is A-G-R-O. This is a holding company that is involved in a range of businesses, included, including sorry, farming crops and other agricultural products, dairy operations, sugar, ethanol, and energy production and land transformation. Sixth on our list is Bayer. The ticker is B-A-Y-R-Y. This is a German multinational life sciences and pharmaceutical company. Their product portfolio includes pesticides, seeds, and plant biotechnology solutions. Seventh is Chukrium Wheat. Their ticker is W-E-A-T. This is a exchange-traded fund, or ETF, that allows exposure to wheat futures in a brokerage account. Eighth, we have Bunch Limited, or, and their ticker is BG. They are an agribusiness and food company that operates worldwide. 
The company sells agricultural commodities such as wheat, corn, soybeans, canola, and sunflower seeds. And lastly, we have Archer Daniels Midland Company and their ticker is ADM. They procure and distribute agricultural commodities including wheat, corn, milo, oats, barley, amongst other types of grains. Um, thanks again, guys, for tuning in. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our videos. Feel free to comment below for any stocks that you'd like me to review. And as always, keep watching for more videos and new plays. Cheers, guys.